All right, so hello Aquarius and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy and I'm going to be doing the reading for you today. It is a general reading um, and I'm going to be using Oracle cards only, no Tarot, so take it how it resonates with you. If you would like to see the Tarot and get the insight on how things are unfolding at this time for you, I'm going to be doing all of that in the Zodiac Extendeds group on Facebook. If you want to be a part of that, all of the information you need is in the description below. Okay, everything you need to know about me is there. Um, in the meantime, I do use profanity on the channel and talk about adult things. So if you have kids around or just don't appreciate, you know, that kind of language respectfully, you can sign off now. Otherwise, we go and get started. Okay, so Aquarius. Chakra Insight Oracle Cards by Karen Sangster. What is the universe focused on in your healing? Intimacy fears. Not being able to trust other people, not being able to be vulnerable. Um, maybe a part of you might be having a hard time accepting things that you've done wrong or giving and receiving your freedom in a relationship because the relationships really are about three different elements, you, them, and the relationship as a whole, as an entity in and of itself. Both parties need their own space to do their own individual thing. And the relationship needs time and dedication, too, from both parties. All three have to sink. All three have to be functioning. If two people are so focused on themselves that they don't give a shit about the relationship itself, the relationship goes to shit. If one person is putting all this time in on themselves and one person is putting an extra time in the relationship aspect because, you know, their partner isn't, well, then they lose themselves. They stop loving themselves. They get tired. They get drained. They feel used and abused. You know what I mean? There's a balance when it comes to relationships. And so this is about being vulnerable. It's about having that intimate conversation with someone and talking about what works and what doesn't work. Not feeling guilty about how you feel when it comes to those things. 2.22 on the clock, okay? The sacral chakra. Also, make sure if your sex life, especially if you're in a relationship, it's important. If you're not having sex with your partner and it's been too long, y'all have an issue you need to talk about. You need to stop avoiding it. Because I know when you're happy, all you want to do is be with your partner. All you want to do is give and be sexual, be intimate, have that physical touch. When there's an issue in your relationship, you don't even want to sit on the couch and touch each other. Think about that. Your physical connectedness with another is indicative of what your relationship is. Is it good, distant? Think about it. Reconnect with your truth. Don't feel bad about it. Talk about it. Get vulnerable. Get vulnerable. Free yourself. If something is not resonating with you and you're unhappy, free yourself. The relationship is officially weighing you down and you're losing yourself. Okay? It's okay. No guilt. No obligation. Ever. Follow your joy. Follow your joy always. You know, the number nine, if you've got to close this cycle, close it. If there's a lesson or a healing that needs to be learned with your partner, learn it. <laughs> don't keep repeating things. Don't. Don't be silent and not talk about it and just let the relationship go to shit. Don't. The relationship needs a talk. If both parties need to come together and have a talk about the relationship, do that. Card number 22. This is my um, Rainbow Warrior activation cards. All right, so we got card number 22. All right. <clears throat> card 22. This great mother. Okay. So the key words are source, foundation, secure, sustain, balance, generosity, and unconditional love. Great mother, 
is the life force that sustains us all. Her ecosystem is the greatest teacher regarding our interconnectedness of all things and the impact they have on one another without fail. Mother Earth doesn't pick and choose who she supports with all her resources. Therefore, her ability to safeguard her own existence and rebalance what humans have made uneven is relentless and can appear unmerciful. Are you giving generously from your supply of resources? Or are you pushing others' boundaries to the point where radical steps are needed to achieve equity? Receiving this card heralds a time when balance is paramount. Recognize the cost of the people, the places, and the things in your life and your cost to them. It doesn't matter if this is a personal relationship with a partner or a relationship with a family member or a relationship with a friend. Any relationship has two individuals and the relationship itself. And all three of those things need to be balanced in order for the relationship to remain healthy and stable. If one person becomes unhealthy and unstable, pff, the whole relationship goes to shit. It will never be maintained. So... Here you go. Everything needs to come back into balance. Everything. Sometimes you need a fucking tornado or a hurricane or something to come in and wipe it all the fuck out. So if that's how you feel emotionally on the inside, don't come out like a hurricane. Okay? You don't have to do that. But you can have the clarity of what that hurricane's going to do with your words. When your words come out in such a way that it's not a <laughs> messy hurricane, but the words themselves are so powerful that it causes a hurricane of thought in the other person you're dealing with. You understand the difference. Mother Nature is relentless. Vulnerability and truth and intimacy is required or it cannot be maintained. Okay. Medicine cards, animal spirits. What animal medicine is helping you heal this energy? What animal medicine is helping you heal? What animal medicine is helping you heal? Card number 19, Buffalo. Buffalo is the gentle giant. It is knowing the magnitude of your power and gentleness and wisdom. Like I said, you don't have to be a hurricane. But your gentleness and your wisdom is huge. And it can cause what feels like a hurricane, but storms do pass. Storms do pass. Be gentle. Use your wisdom. Use your vulnerability. Sacrifice your hide for the greater good. When I say that, sacrifice your hide, I say it in a sense of sacrifice your mask that you're hiding behind. Play on words. Words are powerful. That's what we're talking about. Sacrifice your mask for the greater good. Be vulnerable. Be honest. From a place that's gentle, that is nurturing to the whole. All three. Okay. Buffalo medicine too. It's a very nurturing, sturdy, solid 
energy. So whatever it is you go into it with this week, Aquarius, whatever it is that you're getting yourself into, be clear, be solid, be kind, be honest, be vulnerable, and, and see just how much that supports your relationships on the whole for everyone involved. Okay? So I hope this helps. If you want to see more from me or just hear more from me and be around me more, all my stuff's down below. You can absolutely find me. In the meantime, guys, and until next, love each other and love yourselves. Bye.